Good morning, Floss Tube. It's Crystal from Cross Stitch Revival, and this is my fourth Floss Tube. And I have failed to talk about why I chose the name Cross Stitch Revival. Um, it's probably obvious. It's because I feel like um, there's a Cross Stitch Revival in my own life, and there's a Cross Stitch Revival in the community, in the crafting community. So I know there's people who have never stopped cross stitching or that have been doing it for several years, but <clears throat> with the pandemic, I think a lot of people who used to cross stitch or were looking for a new hobby have discovered it or rediscovered it, and there's just an explosion of just, you know, this amazing community on social media, on Instagram, Facebook. I'm not on Twitter, so I don't know if you cross stitchers on Twitter. I doubt it. Um, uh, anyway, and YouTube, of course, for floss tube and tutorials. And I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit. So, I have been under the weather. I definitely look at today. Um, that's why I haven't made a floss tube video. I haven't gotten a ton of stitching done because, um, I don't know, this might be TMI, but I've been having migraines. So, it's really, it's just not possible most of the time to cross stitch you know with a migraine so this morning I feel you know a break in that and I wanted to do my last two video I kind of take my mind off things um, I know I'm looking a little rough with my hair <laughs> and I have all these baby hairs you see it's not that I don't care I don't brush my hair it's just that I had gastric bypass last year and I lost a lot of my hair and it's Thankfully, it's growing back, but there's these little baby hairs, like, all over my head. So, they do what they want. They can't be tamed. They can be tamed for a minute, and then they just go, blue. So, anyway, those are my baby hairs, but I'm proud of my baby hairs. I'm happy that they're growing back. I'm very thankful. So, let's get started with some stitching. Okay, so, my first project that um, I have been working on is... The, not this past Friday, but the previous Friday release from Stitching with the Housewives. Um, it is the What's in My Cup series. Fall, y'all. With the scarecrow. And he's so cute. So this is as far as I've gotten on him. And I did most of this in probably a day or two. And the reason I wasn't able to finish is because I'm waiting for some floss to come in the mail. I had ordered floss the beginning of August. It was shipped and it was lost in the mail. It never arrived. So the owner of the, I actually ordered it from an eBay store, but I think she owns a brick and mortar store and she also sells on eBay. She um, said that she would send me a replacement of the floss and then if I receive the package later on, just to please mail it back to her, which I for sure will. Um, so those colors are what I need for this and for Clovis and Stanley. My phone keeps, the little stand, my stand's not great, it keeps slipping. So this guy is super cute and I'll show you later in the video what I got at Hobby Lobby to finish this on. Okay, my next one is the collaboration between Hands On Design and So Much To Love, Love My Stitching Bag. And I based it off of this fabric, Her and Her History fabric from Bonnie Christine. That's the fabric I'm going to use. This is as far as I've gotten. So I finished where it says linen and I started down here where it's going to say floss. I had to stop on this because I ran out of black coffee. If I was going to do this again, <laughs> which I'm not, um, I don't think so unless I make one for a gift, I would not use fancy floss or hand dyed floss because it uses so much that I would have just chosen DMC 310 instead of black coffee or a really dark color um, because I had to wait for, I just received it like a couple days ago, I had to order more black coffee because I was running low and um, you know, this is... <laughs> These big blocks right here, they use a lot, so I feel like it's not very economical to use hand-dyed floss, so. Um, but I'm loving it. I love this project. I'm excited to make the bag when it's finished. 
My next project gave me fits. It is Harvest House by Little Stitch Girl. I love, 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 love this. It's so cute. However, let me tell you what happened. This, I've got it almost all done. I am on my um, Lazy Daisies stitches over here. And um, the designer, Jordan Nicole, she has a crop, she has Little Stitch Girl, she has a YouTube channel with a really good tutorial on how to do these stitches. And I kept practicing, I messed up a bunch of them, and I finally got the hang of it. There was one thing that was messing me up was that the pattern, which I can't show you, the pattern is shown for like what you would, like Ada, okay? Um, so I'm using an even weave, and her tutorial showed an even weave, but I was looking at the pattern like, like Ada, like one square, um, like one over one instead of, uh, or you know what I'm saying. Like, even weave, you count two. Ada, you count one. So, I was really having trouble, like, figuring that out on my fabric. Where to put my needle. And I finally figured it out. But, the fabric that I chose is this even weave from Hobby Lobby. I think I have it written down in my little stitch journal. But, it's very loose. So, I had a hard time, um... Because the weave is so loose, it just was making big holes, any kind of tension I put on it, and it just looked really sloppy. It's been driving me crazy. So, I love the pattern. I love her tutorial. I don't like the fabric. So, I do plan on stitching the other three in the series. Um, this is Harvest House. I don't know the exact names. I think it's like Winter House, maybe Spring House, and Summer House. I'm going to stitch them on Monaco 28 count because it's such a tighter weave. It'll be way, way, way easier to do because once I started stitching on this, I just flew through it. But those specialty stitches really, really slowed me down. So what my plan is to put this in a Q-snap so that I have good tension, even tension, and not trying to hold it with my hand and finish the specialty stitches and it'll be done. I have just the three French knots to do in this one, that one, and to do the greenery and I'll be done. So hopefully by my next video I'll be finished with this. I need to come up with a finishing idea that I can switch out all four. Right now I don't have anything here that would work for that. So it will just go to the side until I figure it out. But I would love to display this for fall because I love the little teal pumpkins. I love it. Okay, my next project is Calvin and Clyde. My last video, this is by Stitching with the Housewives. I'm stitching it on 14 count antique blue Ada from Hobby Lobby. I did um, all the outlining first so that I could just go in and fill it in. My last video, I talked about how I messed up around here and I was able to fix it, well, no. <laughs> I messed it up to the point where the entire sign was shifted over one, and it really messed up all of the vines and the flowers, so I had to rip out the entire post, all the flowers and greenery, and the, um, the outline of the sign, and any of the words I had. I had to rip it all out. And in process, I got a little too spunky with my seam ripper, and I actually ripped, my, I actually ripped through my fabric. And I got really frustrated and I thought, I'm just going to start this over. But I just took a breath, you know, kind of took my finger and went like that and messed with it to see how loose it was. And I was able to save it. So I've gotten part of Calvin, let's see, no, all of Calvin's filled in. I think I'm going to do the overalls next. So I'm really enjoying this pattern. It's fun. And I will be done in time to finish it for Halloween and I have an idea of what I want to do to finish it so hopefully that'll work out. I love Calvin and Clyde. I have two new starts. The first one that I started, I just started and I worked on it like for, I don't know, 
maybe an hour or two and then I didn't pick it back up again but I was just in the mood to start something new so I started hands on design Holly Jolly Farm and this is in collaboration with Priscilla Blaine on her chalk art I love this I didn't like it very much I won't say I didn't like it it just wasn't anything that I thought about stitching until I saw her show it I saw Priscilla show it on her floss tube with Chelsea and when they showed it up close like this the actual stitch project I loved it so I ordered it and this is as far as I got again I'm doing a bunch of the outlining however on this one I don't think I'm gonna just do all of the outlining and then go back in I think I'm just gonna do sections because it gets kind of boring doing that and then if you mess up you messed up the whole thing so I think I'm just gonna work on this section and this section for right now I'm in no rush though I'm not in a rush to get this done for this Christmas if I do I do if I don't I don't I'm just enjoying stitching it it's a pretty pattern and it's a happy pattern which I love so we'll see how far I get and also the pattern is for me it's really tiny so thankfully I have a printer copier scanner and I blew it up like 150% I did the same thing with my love my stitching bag and anytime a pattern is too small for me to really be able to look at on my stand I blow it up so sometimes I have to play with the um, when you blow it up you it distorts it a little bit so I have to play with some of the settings on the printer but I'm telling you what I'm so thankful that I have that copier because it has really helped me with my cross stitching I have it for homeschool I homeschool my son oh and this is why I make color copies or copies of my patterns because this is a copy of my Calvin and Clyde because it is completely, look at that. You would think that I just like live in filth, but what happened was I was stitching on the couch, got up, and one of my dogs picked this spot and I think she was bathing her paws or something. I mean, she just like destroyed my pattern. So this is why my patterns stay in a pattern box in the original packaging and I make copies so it can get destroyed by my dogs or whatever I can spill something on it, I spill my coffee on it and it's it's fine I'll just make another copy my other my last new start is the advent calendar by tiny modernist she has two Christmas calendars I think one is called Christmas calendar and one is called advent calendar they're pretty much you know they work the same way they go through the days of December the 1st through the 24th I don't think either one of them have the 25th but I, I could be wrong I know mine does not have the 25th um, and I'm choosing to stitch mine like a Christmas countdown so I'm gonna finish it where each individual day this is I bought this off eBay and this is how it came the person who sold it to me actually it's from a magazine and they just cut the magazine pages out and sent it to me and um, you know that's fine with me I can't show it doesn't have a good picture of it so I'm going to insert the image from online so you can see what the whole set looks like because any other page I'll show you is going to show you the chart but I think it's so cute. This was my favorite one. Is the I believe it's the Advent. You can tell because the the snowflake is the first one, and it, it just so cute. I mean, they have like the the three kings, oh, little three kings. They're so cute, and the baby Jesus, and all the things. So I like the colors. I don't know if I'll change any of the colors, but I started on 24 because I just really love the star. And the star is 24, so this is, I'm, um, right now I'm back stitching on the star and I have, still have to put the, the 24 on there. And I'm using, this is called New Navy 14 Count Ada. I really didn't want, this is a brighter navy. I wanted a, what I would consider a more Christmassy navy. 
but I was anxious to get started and this was what they had at Hobby Lobby so I just got it. They're not all going to fit on here so if I decide to, to change fabrics that's fine. They can be on different fabrics because they're going to be finished individually where I can change out the days each day. I need to buy something that I can finish them on and just change them out and I thought that would be a fun thing to do with my little boy is to put the 24 days and the next day put 23 days till Christmas and then 22 days till Christmas and I know a lot of people have done that so you know I'm just stealing their idea because I think it's so cute. That's it for my whips and new starts and I have some haul to show you but first I'm going to show you oh oh okay so I uh, said I wasn't going to do this because I was really frustrated the first time I made a project bag but I keep seeing everyone's project bags and I'm like I really want those and I have all the stuff to make them so I can't really justify buying project bags when I have a sewing machine and I have the supplies to make them so I made two fall ones and they're really similar because I used a little fabric bundle from a back quarter shop sew sampler box that I had that I was not going to make the pattern. So this is Fig Tree, um, all, I think it's All Hallows Eve fabric. And it came in that bundle. So I took my time. I used some tips that I found online for sewing vinyl. One was putting, I don't have a Teflon foot on my machine, so I put a piece of just regular tape um, under my sewing machine foot so that it did not stick to the vinyl and then I used tissue paper between the project and my sewing table to keep the vinyl from sticking to my sewing table as it went through. So I'm really happy. These turned out a lot better than my first bag and I mean they're not perfect by any means. I wouldn't list these on Etsy or anything but they're perfect for me and they're fallish color so I'm going to keep fall projects in these bags I think and I have plans to make more but with you know me not feeling well this is this is what I got done and I was happy to get this done I love Garfield from the 80s I grew up I was born in 1980 and growing up I just love Garfield cartoon we had a Garfield board game that I used to obsessively play with just by myself. I just love Garfield. I always have. And um, so I found this Garfield fabric on eBay. I don't know if it's a new print of a vintage design or if it's actually old fabric. It's so cute. I love Garfield. Um, so I'm going to make myself a project bag out of this. So I haven't, I just haven't got to that yet, but it's, it's a, it feels like a polyester fabric, so I wouldn't make anything that I needed to wash with it because it's not going to shrink at the same rate as a cotton fabric and a cotton batting, but for a project bag, it'll be great. And it just, Garfield, like, especially the old look of Garfield, it just makes me smile. So, a couple more things I got. Some patterns that I ordered that came in. I ordered two more of the Main Street by Country Cottage Needleworks. Um, gro Main Street Grocery and Main Street Bakery. So, I'm slowly going to order these. I would like to start this in January. Like, maybe January 1st for it to be my 2021 big project. Right now, I'm working on Country Cottage Needleworks Snow Village. Not literally right now because I took a break from it after Jolly July. I was just, I worked on that a lot during Jolly July and I just need a break. But um, this is going to be a big project for me. I think there's 10 patterns. So uh, every month I'm going to try to buy one or two patterns until I have them all. And then, you know, get on my floss. I'd like to choose. Um, a really pretty hand dyed fabric for this so you know my hope is that I can actually go to a local needle workshop in one of the surrounding cities 
I don't have one that's literally local to me. But, you know, within driving distance to choose my fabric for this. So that would be, that'd be really fun. And I talked about before, the reason I want to do this is because my husband is the mayor of our town. And the, I just want to do it because it reminds me of our town. And I think it's a good way to honor his time as mayor. And it would just be a really special thing to stitch for our, for our house. And I want to get it professionally framed and everything. My other pattern that I received was the Country Cottage Needleworks November Cottage. The Cottage of the Month. I have not stitched any of these, but I really like them. So I thought if I got November, it's almost September. So that would give me a couple months to get it stitched and finished before November and I would like to continue on that track. We'll see what happens, but I think the colors are so pretty. I did order the called for specialty flosses and they are gorgeous. I don't know that I'll do that for every month, but this month in particular I thought the pattern really would be so much better with the specialty flosses. So. It calls for grapefruit from Week Style Works, um, the Gentle Art Harvest Moon, Week Style Works Mocha, and Week Style Works Kudzu. I think I said that correctly. And they are just beautiful. I love it. Gorgeous colors. And I grew up in um, West Virginia, Southern West Virginia, and fall time meant just beautifully colored mountains just every you know all the fall colors <laughs> I just you know and I really miss that here in South Carolina I don't obviously our trees do change colors but it's nothing like in the Appalachian Mountains nothing like it so that I love those I also Um, I have one more pattern, but I'm going to talk about that at the end of the video that I ordered. I got some thread in. I had to order more black coffee and Queen Bee because I feel like every pattern I stitch needs Queen Bee. The black coffee is for my Love My Stitching Bag. And I also ordered this crushed pineapple. I think you guys know what it looks like, but anyway. Um, it's a variegated pale yellow and there's been a couple projects where I wanted to make some changes with the yellow and the yellows I had just weren't cutting it and I think that will be a great addition to my floss colors. I got in my pack of oranges that I wanted to use for Calvin and Clyde. So here's my Calvin and Clyde. The or called for orange for I think it's this pumpkin and this pumpkin I had chosen the DMC color and it was like a floor. It was a really bright orange and it just didn't go with all these colors. So I ordered five different oranges. Actually, I had already owned sweet potato. I wanted to use sweet potato. This is like the whole point of me changing the colors. I needed something that would go with that. So I ordered, um, let me just hold up on here, Daylily. By Week Style Works. Candied Yams by Classic Color Works. Pumpkin Harvest, which is one of the called for colors. Clockwork by Week Style Works. And Pumpkin by Week Style Works. And I have fussed and fussed and fussed trying to figure out what I'm going to use. And right now, I think I'm going to use Clockwork for the darker orange. And I am torn between the Pumpkin Harvest called for or Sweet Potato. They are very similar. Very, very similar. So, this one I'm definitely using. And these two, I'm torn between. One is, I guess one's more like a peachy, peachy orange. I don't know. They're so similar. Either one's going to look fine. So, we'll just see. I'm going to stitch some more to the overalls. I'll do this color, and then I'll see which one I like more. But I think both will look fine. 
No worries. I picked up a couple couple floss rings at Hobby Lobby. Right here. One has my Weeks Dye Works. One has Classic Color Works. For right now, that's the only hand dyed floss I have. Oh, that's a lie. I have more hand dyed floss. Mmm. We're not going to mint though. I don't know what I did with it, but I signed up for, um, through Annie's, goodness, Crazy Annie's, a banner year by Hands-On Design. Supposedly, it's in the mail. <laughs> the mail is, is crazy right now. I don't know when I'll receive it, but Kathy Haberman from Hands-On Design has started this new thing called a banner year, which she has banner designs. The first one is a Halloween one. It's so cute. I don't really have Halloween decorations. I don't really have a, a very many decorations at all. So I'm just building up from that. And I just really fell in love with that. So I did get my floss from Color and Cotton for that project. And I, I think it's over in my basket. My stitching basket. So when I received my banner year shipment from Crazy Annie's that has the pattern and the fabric, I will show you everything together that I have. Okay, so some more things I got from Hobby Lobby for finishing. Some really, really cute things. Okay, so for fabric, I picked up this dark brown and white buffalo check. I picked up this um, yellow and white it's it's like a harvest yellow it's showing up a little bit brighter on the screen than what it is but it's a nice it's actually matches my wall color in here um so i could use this anytime for anything but i got it for fall and some black and white buffalo check but this has a different it's 100% cotton, but it's not something I would make. It's got a looser weave. It's more woven. So I wouldn't use this in a quilt, but it'll be good for finishing. It's almost like a dishcloth feel. I don't know. Maybe like those kitchen wovens, but I thought it'd be nice for finishing. And these are all half yard cuts. And then I got this B um, honeycomb print, which I thought would look nice with my Clovis and Stanley. Um, I was really thinking of Clovis and Stanley with this one. So, because it matches the color of the corn stalks and all that. I also got some wired buffalo check ribbon. And I got this trim to go, I was thinking it would be nice to go around the little what's in my cup um, finishes around the edges it is it has a autumn color plaid twisted with like burlap Let's see if I can find something to put that against mm, let me try this super cute I hope it works because even with the you know all the stuff was 40% off, but um, I spent enough that I'm not buying any more Hobby Lobby for a while. I had sold something on eBay, and I was like, okay, I'm going to sell something I don't need on eBay and take that money and go buy me some finishing stuff at Hobby Lobby. So that's what I did. I also got two dried sunflowers. I wanted regular sunflowers. But they didn't have them in the size that I needed. Like, my Hobby Lobby is has every flower but sunflowers, you know. They have lots of the big ones. But these are pretty. They're the dried kind. And I thought they would look nice with Clovis and Stanley and or um, Calvin and Clyde. And one more fall finishing thing I got was these little... These are like in the kids section. Little leaves. They're... They're foam leaves with like felt, like the foam and felt with little buttons, but I thought they were super cute. They're called leaf stickers. 
they were back with the, the little kids crafts that at my Hobby Lobby they have in the middle of the aisle. They have like these long rows of the fall and Christmas kids crafts. That's where I got these. And I thought they would be really cute. I'd put some dimension to something. And if they don't look good with finishing, my son can use them on a homeschool project. Okay, so for some Christmas finish finishing things I got, I got these Buffalo Check Picks. And they are super cute. I have no idea what I would do with these, but they are super, super cute. They're really stiff. Got two of them. But for a small project, you know, you could... You could do this. I don't know. But they were really cute, and I thought I would like to use these with my Jolly, my Stitching with the Housewife of Jolly St. Nick and Rudolph finish somehow. I don't know how I'm going to finish that one, but I thought this would match that really well. I also picked up these, which I thought were super cute. They have the little glitter pom-poms and the red and the green. They have kind of like the Grinch colors or just really bright Christmas colors. I love these. So I picked up two of these. And I'm not like the kind of crafty person that really knows how to do any of this stuff. So I'm just winging it. I went to the doll section and got the little Reese because I can't find these anywhere else in the store. So, in the little doll houses, um, where you buy all the stuff, the miniatures, they had these. Um, so, you know, we'll see. That's, Priscilla has used these on a lot of projects and they are super cute. Similar to that, in uh, the kids section, where I got the little leaves, I also picked up these little candy pieces. I thought they would look super cute in the middle of a bow. Again, all this was 40% off. Everything was on sale, so my 40% off coupon didn't even really... It might have saved me a dollar. Um, and then I picked up these mini cone and berry picks. And this was also in the little Christmas craft section that I call the kids section. There's also grown-up crafts. But it's not with the regular decor. It is in the separate section where they have like the paint your own ornaments and the foam characters or the, the plastic balls that you decorate. That's where I found these. And I believe that's all. I did get some more zippers for project bags. I buy these. These are the long pull zip zippers. I usually buy the number three style that has a short zipper for my zipper pouches, but for my project bags, I wanted a long pull. So when you buy a long pull, the zipper is wider, so that's fine. I like a wider zipper. And I buy, I always buy my zippers from Zip It on Etsy. They have awesome selection, really pretty colors, any color you could want, and any size you can want. It can be overwhelming if you've never bought zippers before. So, you really, you just need to go by what um, your project calls for. I will either buy bigger than my project so I can cut it down or what my project calls for. You do not want to try to use a smaller zipper. That will only cause you heartache. Um, but I will link them, I will link that Etsy shop because if you want to make project bags, these are a much, 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 much better quality zipper than the zippers that you buy at Walmart or Hobby Lobby. They work better. Um, you know, they don't get stuck like the ones at Walmart because that drives me crazy. So, and they're not expensive at all. I ordered 10, maybe for $12, give or take. And that's because these are more expensive because they have the long pulls. If you get the regular size pulls, they're much cheaper. And you can buy a bundle, you can buy just like all white, you can choose your colors, there's tons of different ways to do it. And, okay, so lastly, I bought this chart, Pumpkin Cottage. 
the reason I bought it, well, first of all, the reason I bought it is because I love it. I think it's very pretty by Country Cottage Needleworks. I've seen a lot of people stitch this on a lot of different floss tubes um, and on Instagram, Facebook, and the Country Cottage Needleworks and Little House Needleworks Facebook group for their September Facebook group sew along, this was one of the voted on choices. So I ordered it. I wanted to do that sew along. And when it came in, I looked at it and I thought, I have, um, my mom says, my mom uses a saying, it says, my eyes are bigger than my stomach, which means you get more food than you can actually eat. And that's how I feel with charts right now is, you know, there's no point in me, <laughs> like, trying to take, you know, buy more charts than I can actually stitch realistically because I am on a budget and then I would have to buy fabric for this, floss for this, and I just have other projects that I'm working on. So, what I thought I would do is I'm almost to 500 subscribers, I thought. Hopefully, I will hit 500 subscribers the next week or two. I don't know, but I want to give this away. It's brand new. Um, I think I purchased it from an Etsy shop honestly can't remember and I would just love to share this with someone else who would like to have this pattern and um, so what I'm gonna do is whenever I hit 500 subscribers which you know I think I'm I'm like at 470 or something like that then I will have a giveaway for this chart do, 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 do. And hopefully it'll happen soon because I want somebody to be able to, to start this for fall if they want to. So, um, one of the call for colors is Pumpkin Harvest, which is, uh, I tell you what, I have Pumpkin Harvest. That will make my decision easier. I will use Sweet Potato on my Calvin Clyde and I will throw in Pumpkin Harvest, um, is it at? I will include pumpkin harvest with this. So, maybe next week we'll have 500 subscribers and I will do that. So, that will be my 500 subscriber giveaway. That will be really fun because I've won two giveaways and that is the most exciting thing to win a giveaway and I would love to have someone else win a giveaway. Also, I'm going to add um, I want to share a channel. I watched her video this morning. She's starting out on floss tube. Her name, her channel name is Share Bear Stitches. And I loved her floss tube video this morning. She did a great job. She made her first um, project bag. Super cute. She has picked out some really cute patterns she's going to start. And I can't wait to see her work on those. And, you know, I just, I just really um, want to support her. She has supported me. I want to support her back. So, check out Share Bear Stitches on YouTube. And that's it. Thank you for, for watching my floss tube. <laughs> Have a great day.